Hi, I'm Kevin Spall, president of Thompson Shore in Dexter, Michigan. As I've been out visiting with customers, um, authors, publishers, I've realized that many people don't understand some of the basics of how to prepare a fine book. So being a, a fine craft book manufacturer, we wanted to put together a little video that talks about some of the basics. So often when people are uh, talking about books, they're, they're starting off with a, a perfect bound, a soft cover book. You can tell a perfect bound whenever you see a, a manufacturer, they often go like this to see what kind of bind. Perfect bind is a nice clean edge. It's a full grind with adhesion of, of glue in the cover to that grind. It looks nice and clean, 90 degree angle. You can see that in this example, it's unbound. It's a nice clean edge with glue adhesion cover on top of it. So nice strong book for an uncoated standard uh, a six by nine, five and a half, eight and a half. Another variety of soft cover binding is a notch bind. It's essentially the same process except there's a, a notching rather than a full grind. It's a little bit stronger. Uh, generally for uncoated books, a perfect bind is fine. Notch bind is a little bit stronger. One time you certainly would want to use a notch bind as if you're doing a split run um, soft cover and case bound. A lot of our university press customers do this. The, the reason why you want to use notch bind is the layout in manufacturing is the same for a notch bound soft cover as it is for a case bound. So the layout is a little bit easier, a little bit less cost, not having to change layouts in production. Uh, you certainly don't have to worry about that from a design standpoint. You can use same design layout. This is more of a layout for production. Moving on from paperback books, we move into case bound. We do a lot of case bound books here at Thompson Shore. Uh, probably 50% of what we do is case bound. Uh, a variety of, of examples here. At Thompson Shore, we sew all of our case bound books, 99%. Uh, the only time when we don't is when a customer requests an adhesive case bound. Sometimes they want that. Um, here, we re really prefer sewn for strength, durability, and it's really the preferred method of manufacturing for us. Sewn case bound is pretty straightforward. Each signature is sewn to the next. You can see the, the sew uh, threads here. That is then ultimately going to be cased in. It's going to be the strongest form of binding that we can give you, that really any, any book manufacturer can give you, uh, and what we prefer. It's interesting, I've got this stack of case bound books here. These all are done adhesive bound with other manufacturers. You can see uh, that there's a real variety in, in the round of that book. Uh, at Thompson Shore, we prefer a nice, what we call a two-thirds round. As you can see, many of these books, some don't even have a round. This is a Thompson Shore book here with a nice, uh, beautiful two-thirds round on a sewn case-bound book. Some additional options you have for uh, case-bound. This is a, a, a traditional side sewn. It's a very old type of, of sewing. You can see each hole and threads in, inside of those holes and it's, it's just threaded down just like you see here. These are typically used for short run books or, or often children's books. Um, although we can also do standard sewn for children's books. Again with a heavy weight paper, typically a gloss paper, you want to use a sewn method. It's going to be the strongest for a book that's going to be used frequently. Um, on that note, we also have a form of um, sewing called over sewing. As you can see, that's a very heavy, thick sew, very, very strong. Uh, this sewing, uh, again called over sewn, lends itself to a lay flat type of process. So a lot of people with uh, reference books, cookbooks, might do an over sewing. And again, you can also do a standard sewn, uh, often referred to as Smythe sewn. Lastly, I'll show you just this last form of uh, special case binding. It's, it's a specification used primarily in education books, uh, LHI books. This is uh, referred to as NASTA, N-A-S-T-A. Really, the difference here is it's sewn. Uh, it has a reinforcement in the first signature and the last signature for extra durability for kids in school. And then it has what's called a tight back spine. And that just means that there's glue from head to foot 
and the, the cover is going to be snug right up against that book for really super strong. That's a NASTA book. So those are a few basics around binding from paperback to case bound. Uh, we're going to be doing more light videos like this on everything from pre-press and color management all the way through distribution. Uh, these will be short videos that we're going to uh, call book basics. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for listening.